At 13, Scarlett Clark lives, sleeps and breathes dancing, mostly because of how it makes her feel. When I dance, I hope that people watch me because I'm dancing, not because they're staring at my skin. Scarlett has congenital melanocytic nevi, or CMN for short, an incredibly rare condition where children are born with birthmarks which can cover up to 80% of their bodies. From a very young age, my first memories would have been of people staring. I have a large one covering my back and like hips and just coming around my belly, and I have a semi-large one on my arm. <laughs> Behind the confident teenager is a determined mum. When she was first born, I had to accept it first before I could um, sort of bring her up the way we have. Um, we've just always been very open about her skin and never hid her away. Right, this is from World Champs 2018. and I From future prima ballerina to top model, Scarlett is one of 30 sitters to have their picture taken by award-winning British photographer Brock Elbank. They're part of an exhibition which shows the beauty that comes with looking different. As you can see, he's got CMN covering one whole arm and it goes onto his hand. Jodie Whitehouse runs a support network for families. Living with CMN can be very difficult because it's so rare. To do this exhibition is amazing because what we want to show is that you can love the skin that you're in. Before she was diagnosed with CMN, for the first 15 years of her life, Jodie underwent 30 operations, being put through excruciating pain, all to try to lessen something that's never really bothered her. It's confusing because I don't know anything different than living with CMN, so for me it's just totally normal to have a big birthmark on my skin. As well as what's visible on the skin's surface, researchers into CMN have found that moles can also grow on the brain and spine. And in a small number of cases, those marks, whether inside or out, can develop into melanoma, cancer, which can be aggressive, difficult to treat and most often fatal. So we'll, we'll know the results by today afternoon. But this small team at Great Ormond Street Hospital is getting closer to working out what might help. The genetic mutation is something that we also find in some cancers. So it is possible to try and use different drug therapies to see if we can target it that way. Or we can try and actually correct the change, the genetic change. If we can actually reverse that change inside the cells that have it, we might actually be able to stop it. Step, head. Parts of Scarlet's skin might stand out, but she isn't brave, she doesn't want the sympathy. All she wants is for other people to get over it. It's so rare and I love mine. I would never think about getting it removed in any way. Katie Spencer, Sky News.